and welcome aboard. We're back under the dome at the Day Barksdale Court at the Beckley Raleigh County Convention Center, ready for WVU Tech Golden Bear men's basketball. The Golden Bears number one preseason in the River Conference. Alderson brought us battlers will be the visiting team tonight. I'm Bill O'Brien, glad to have you aboard. And Brian Helton is working with me. Brian, we already had one game and the WVU Tech ladies looked really, really good as they beat Voorhees 105 to 70. I tell you, uh, you need to check that schedule online of when these women play here and come watch. That was some impressive basketball. Tonight. No doubt about it. And you know what was more interesting was that the Lady Golden Bears lost most of their scores from last year. Their top four wow. are gone. In fact, I was told by their radio play-by-play -play man that 66 points out of 77 wow. were gone. And yet, look what they did here. Scored 105 tonight. Yeah, it's amazing. 13 different women scoring tonight. And as we mentioned, Silva, 29-point performance. And then freshman Hedrick with 20. What an impressive group. Let's I give you the uh, starting ahead. lineups. Well, I tell you what, we better get a commercial break in before we get to the lineups. So let's do that. We'll pause for the cause and be right back on video productions. Auto Mall, West Virginia's largest GMC Buick dealer, is a proud sponsor of West Virginia High School Athletics and our area student athletes. Beckley Auto Mall, with three locations for your convenience. 3934 Robert C. Bird Drive in Beckley, 199 Rogers Street, Princeton, and 368 Seneca Trail in Fairley. Plus, you can shop 24-7 at BeckleyAutoMall.com. Beckley Auto Mall and West Virginia student athletes, a winning combination. GMC, we are professional grade. first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. Tire Pros. Hassle-free. Guaranteed. What's more important to you when buying windows, siding, and doors? Is it energy savings, cost, quality, warranty, or perhaps collar options, low maintenance, service, or financing options? or all of the above, when the world offers it all. We listen to your needs and go above and beyond your expectations. Schedule your free, no obligation, in-home estimate by calling Window World of Beckley today. You have a goal. You know what you want. Start with us. New River Community and Technical College, your community college. Take classes online or in a classroom in Beaver, Lewisburg, Summersville, or Princeton. Or step outside the classroom in one of our technical or health programs. Find flexible and affordable options to help you reach your goal. It's closer than you think when you start with us. New River Community and Technical College. Apply today. And we're back under the dome. WVU Tech will start Andrew Work, Ashton Parker, DeAndre King, Brant Smithers, and Bryce Radford. Many of you remember Bryce Radford from starring role at Woodrow Wilson High School a couple of years ago. Alderson brought us with Jalen Knott, Corian Rice, Talik Walker, Jalen Collins, and Zach Simpkins. Center jump, and we're ready to go. The Battlers of Alderson brought us coached by Stephen Dye from Raleigh County. Simpkins with it. Three ball, that's an air ball. Out of bounds to the Battlers of Alderson brought us. Not Rice, Walker, Collins, and Simpkins wearing the dark blue uniforms with gold numerals for AB. And around the horn they go. Simpkins. Now Rice. It's blocked. Oh, a nice block by Parker. Out of bounds. It will belong to A.B. We'll get a chance to introduce you to these players as the game moves along. 
We'll be playing two 20-minute halves. Opening game for both these teams. They've both done well in scrimmages. Here's Radford coming down for the layup. Scoops it up. No. He had the shot he wanted but couldn't get it to fall. On the other end. That's blocked. Wow. Blocked by Work. What a block. Work has it now. The Oak Hill grad. Three ball by Radford misses and will come the other way. Boy, there's going to be a lot of scoring tonight. Yeah, they're up and down the floor already. A lot of shots. Look, going to be a great game, Bill. George Wilmore in the first year as the head coach for the Golden Bears. What a block by work. Look at that athleticism. Tremendous all-around player. We thank Little General. They'll be providing the instant replays all night long. Here's work. King underneath, layup try, missed by Parker, and will come the other way. Simpkins. Layup, oh, got nice it. Job. So we've got the first points of the night, and that's Zach Simpkins, the senior, 6-4. Ashton Parker, help over. I think he got a piece of that. It went in anyway. King misses the long ball, and here comes Rice. Rice has a Beckley connection we'll tell you about. Simpkins has it blocked as he goes in for a layup. Good defensive play by Smithers for WVU Tech. Yeah, we're almost two minutes deep into the ball game, and the Golden Bears have not scored yet, but don't worry, they will. They will. They've had some good looks, just haven't went down yet. Had a chance to talk to the referees assigned here by the conference and tell you about them, too. Impressive. Stepped on the end line. So Rice makes the mistake. And Tech on the attack. Both teams going hard here early. Really good defense both ways so far, Bill. Bryce Radford, 5'10 sophomore, red shirt. He played at Indiana, Pennsylvania last year. Work from Oak Hill. Puts oh. the slam dunk. Yeah. Tie game. Other end, very quick. Nope. And that rolls in. Well, if you've been around this area long, you're not you're not surprised when Andrew Work does something like that. Well, that's right. He is one exceptional player. Amazing player. And a foul. Andrew Work, as we told you, there Oak goes, Hill High School. Look at that. Goes right down the lane. Two-hand jam. We're used to seeing that. Guys from Oak Hill graduate, we've seen a long time from him now. Told you those instant replays, you're going to love them. King. Smithers. That's good. Brent Smithers. 6-1 freshman. And Tech has their first lead. Here's Rice. Watch out for Rice. Blocked. Oh. Wow. Ashton Parker with two big blocks so far. Amazing. Ashton is the tallest guy on the floor. And he made his presence known. Here come the battlers. High post. He was open, and boy, that was an easy one for Collins once he got free. Good physical move right down the middle of the paint. 6'6", six, six senior. And again, A.B. is up by a point. Andrew Work backs his way in. Oh, yeah. Great move by Work. Wow, well, he's off to a great start. Sweet. 7-6, Tech. Simpkins. They're going to call the charge, I believe. The officials tonight are Nate Sutton, J.K. Goins, and Bo Queen, assigned here by the conference. They had their hands full so far. It's a physical, hard-fought basketball game out. they got a lot of choices to make for the officials out there tonight. One of the refs is 
Been doing it for more than 30 years, another 18 and another nine. And asking what are the refs, I said, you must do a lot of traveling to handle the games in the conference plus others. He said, I put 17,000 miles in the car last year. Wow. Foul called. And this time Parker goes to the line for WVU Tech. Foul on Collins. Ashton Parker will go to the strike. You know, we mentioned Andrew Workoff to such a strong start, and uh, he's a preseason all-conference pick for the River State Conference, and it's not hard to see why with the way he's starting tonight. And by the way, Tech is playing without Thomas Haley. He's got a shoulder injury. He was one of their top players last year. Right. He missed them both. 7-6 Tech. Here's Simpkins. Collins. Walker. Give and go underneath block. Wow. Parker again. <laughs> Blocking foul going to be called. Yeah, he looked like he was set to me. That I don't I don't know that that's the best call in the world, but that's three blocks tonight for Parker. <laughs> it's the voice of Brian Helton if you want to address your correspondence to him. We're just teasing. I thought Bryce was set. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot, Collins. Eight to seven. AB takes the lead again. Bryce Radford. Talk about scoring. Radford knows how. He scored 50 points for Woodrow Wilson in one game. That's the all time record for the historic. Legendary Beckley team. Give and go underneath. Count it. It's Parker. 9 8. Tech with the lead. Thuds off the back iron, and here comes Smithers. Smithers, spin move. Got it. Wow. Preston, freshman. Nice. Two buckets for him. Five points. And a three-point advantage. 14.40 to play, first half. The Smithers was a finalist for Mr. Kentucky Basketball. Wow. Yeah. Big-time recruit. By the way, uh, A.B. has put number five in. Jadakis Mack, he's a junior. Wearing number five on his dark blue outfit. Speaking of five, that's Keandre King right in front of us. He will inbound the ball with yeah. Tech up by three. Yeah, Welling Park graduate. Mother of Katera is a Division I basketball player. Just a tremendous kid. Great shooter. George Wilmore taking over from James Long as the head coach at Tech. I was in his office yesterday. Very impressive. He knows what he's about. Work. Whoops. Whoa! Is that going to be goaltending? I think they're going to yeah. count that. One. Yeah. We may see that on instant replay. Nick Eskins is our producer director tonight. Nick at night. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah, there's just another play there by Tech. Unfortunately, goaltend, but I tell you, they've got some rim protectors. That's four big blocks so far for WVU Tech. Bryce Radford working the basketball. Well, he and Danny Bickey when they were the guard combination for Woodrow. Wow. And a foul. Over the back for sure. There's a lot of skill in one backcourt, huh? Now, if you see number 32 wearing the white uniform, that is Salyu Jop, D-I-O-P, pronounced Jop, 6'10", and a freshman from Africa, from Senegal. Impressive around that ring. Bounds to AB. We're approaching 13 and a half minutes to go in the first half and a one point lead for Tech. Alderson brought us. Linbound. Around the horn they go. 
Three ball, no. Bradford's got it. Up the floor to Martin. Darren Martin just into the ball game, wearing number two. Radford fade away, three, that's off the iron, no good. When he gets hot, nobody can beat him. Oh, yeah, that was just in and out there. Good good look at the rim that yeah, time. He's just getting warmed up. Yep. Yeah, he's going to make game in, game out. He's going to make those shots. For those of you just tuning in and you missed our first broadcast of the Tech women's game, both uh, Brian Helton and I are substituting tonight. Bob Bolin is in Huntington doing a Marshall game, so... Brian was kind enough to work here tonight. And Jeff Campbell is doing a football game over at Greenbrier East tonight. So yours truly, Bill O'Brien, here in the air chair. Glad to have you aboard. Oh, look at that steal by work. Great job. He lives up to his name, and there's a blocking foul he on sure does. AB. Okay. Andrew worked to trigger it in. Simpson Simpkins comes back in for Mack for the Battlers. Coached by Stephen Dye. Boy, he was quite a player in his day. Down round three. A and Southern West Virginia legend shooting that basketball. Oh, yeah. You got that right. All right, here's work. Back of the foul line. Bank shot. No good by Hill. Will Hill, who took that shot. Sort of gotten stagnant for the moment. Plenty of action, but not a lot of makes. Simpkins. Long range shot, rims out no good, and here's Hill with the ball. He'll wait for his teammates to set up. Work. King's got it. Work sees play, and that is going to roll in. Great take. His Strong third basket. 13-10, WVU Tech with the lead. 12 minutes to go in the first half. Nice crowd tonight here under the dome at the Armory. Yeah, we still call it the Armory, <laughs> even though it's the Beckley Raleigh County Convention Center officially. Give and go, and nice layup by Simpkins. One point game. Andrew Work. Watch out. He sizes up the defender to King. Almost a bear hug there. Yeah. Work gets wow. an out of foul. Wow. Boy, he brought his A game tonight. I tell you what, that you can tell that offseason work is paying off right now. Brian, you said it. That was pretty. And a timeout call. 11.27 to go, first half. WV Tech by three. We'll be back after this on Video Productions. Nachos, better with Pepsi. Massey Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports, we power your work and your adventure. Back under the dome at the Day Barksdale Court, and you're watching the WVU Tech cheerleaders. And even though we don't play quarters here, we still have stats, and Brian Helton's going to have a quick look at them. So far, Andrew Work with eight points leads all scoring. Yeah, out of the gate fast. Overall, uh, WVU Tech seven for 13 from the floor, just one for five from three, but I think I think they shoot the ball better than that, so once those start going, overall, tremendous effort both ways. A.B. at uh, 6 of 15 shooting so far. That's 40%. Yeah, rebounding the big advantage uh, to A.B. 13 to 3 so far. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes all the difference. Andrew Works made the difference so far, hasn't he? Sure has. Off His ninth point. 16-12, WVU Tech on the happy side of the scoreboard. 
All right, I won't use that anymore. Here's Walker. That's a block they're going to call. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I don't know about that one. Let's see if he had his feet in the arc or not. No, well outside the arc he was set. I think he just referee just simply missed that call. Great job, Andrew. Work stepping up. We'll take that charge. Around the horn they go. Now in close. Turn around, spin, move. Got it. Nice tough play. Shot. Wow, that was pretty. Great defense. Just made a tough shot. Mm -hmm. Andrew Work sees his move. Gets it back out. Martin. Now Hill. Hill had the move from the baseline, counted. 6'5 freshman Will Hill. And he's got the pink sneakers on, too. <laughs> oh, nice block. Parker blocks it. Four point lead, WVU Tech, and we're almost halfway through the first half. I don't know about the foul, maybe on the way up on work. That's two on him, not, not good for WVU Tech. Kobe Tigney is number 15. It's a new one for me. Three-point game. Bryce Radford with it. From three. Count wow. it. Can't leave him open. That's King. Six-point game. 10-10 left first half. From the foul line. And it rolls in that time. Nicely done. Etheridge just into the ball game. Jaquelin Etheridge, a junior. Both teams using their bench here early. Radford. King trying to make something happen. He shut down. He tries to scoop. Nope, the little finger roll too far away. And Simpkins. Tries for the lay, wow. but he's got it. Simpkins with six. Yeah, he does a good job getting downhill and getting to the basket. Good, strong, physical drive there. Mm -hmm. Bryce Radford is fouled. That was sort of an excuse me foul by Talik Walker, his first. He just sort of reached in. <laughs> Meantime, Bryce was going the other way. He realized as soon as he did. Yeah, oh, yeah. Day. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> and George Wilmore, I like his energy and his smarts. He is going to do a fine job here. Very oh, impressive. Absolutely. Hill. Will Hill trying to muscle in. Radford from downtown. There He's got go. it. There he goes. Well outside the three-point arc. First points of the night for Bryce Radford. And that's going to be plenty in his WVU Tech career. Another great defensive play by the Golden Bears. Here's Hill, spin move, oh yeah, block, but Tech keeps it. Radford, long range, yeah! yeah. He's found his range now, Bill. Big run by WVU Tech. That right there. was too nice. Again, battling for the boards, Aston Parker gets, throws it outside, and you can't let Bryce Radford get his feet set. That's going to be a three-point every time. Great shot. Yeah, he missed his first two long balls, and boy, the last two have been nothing but net. He's found his rhythm now. Oh, Dex yeah. Dex found their rhythm. That's last three possessions, three threes. Super. 8.49 to go. There's a timeout, and we'll keep it here. 27 to 19, an eight point advantage for the Golden Bears. As we mentioned, they are ranked number one preseason in the River States Conference poll. Of course, we know about polls. It's something that uh, sportscasters like to talk about, but after seeing Tech here for the first 11 minutes plus, they look pretty fine. It's not hard to see why they're the preseason number one in the River States Conference. Mm -hmm. and, and also, I uh, saw where they, they're getting uh, top 25 votes as well, so I think this level of play against this caliber of teams 
are going to get them in that top 25 before too long. Exactly. By the way, WVU Tech has already played a couple of scrimmage games. They played Wheeling and they played West Virginia State. So I asked Coach Wilmore, did you win? He said, well, you know, you don't play to win in scrimmage games, right. but we did fine. Okay. That means he won. <laughs> <laughs> That's head coach speak for we won. Brian Hilton knows all about that. Glad to be working with it tonight. You Here too, come Bill. the battlers. Watch out. It rolls off the iron. Tip no. Simpkins again blocked. And a foul. Oh, mm. Well, I'm thankful to get to work with the legends in Beckley. In many ways, not just as a broadcaster, but in many ways. The spirit of Beckley, former mayor, just a true honor to be here tonight. I oh, mean my that. gosh. Absolutely. You're making me blush again, I'll tell you, but I <laughs> I thank you very much. Well, the truth hurts, right? Well, it's, it's <laughs> you, you're reading it the way I wrote it. I appreciate that very much. <laughs> there you go. Simpkins hits the foul shot. He'll get one more. In the game, uh, number 22, Ragad, first team All-State, Mr. Everything from Webster County High School. Tremendous, tremendous basketball player. Had a chance to see him last year when I did a greater Beckley game, and oh, he's the real deal, no doubt about it. An even better kid. Simpkins makes them both. Here's Radford. They'll probably try to shut him down with a different look defensively. Here's Hill. Wants to muscle his way, and he's fouled. Well, Hill is a, is a freshman, 6'5", and I like what I see in him so far. I think that puts him in the bonus. Well, this has been a fast-moving game, 8'19", left till halftime. 27-21, a six-point lead for the Golden Bears. They're wearing the white uniforms, as you would expect at home. And Will Hill ready. Whoops. Yeah, you can't be perfect early on. <laughs> but you got to like the effort. No Corey doubt. on Rice. Kearney. One hander rolls in good for Collins. He's hit three shots. And all of a sudden, that tech lead is only four points. Yeah, Collins has been a very impressive player inside. Mm -hmm. Nice left-handed move that time. One of the few seniors on this team. In fact, two seniors that start for A.B. Radford. Count it. Wow. Can't give him, you can't give him space. He's going to put on a show. That's a fantastic shoot. Three trays for Bryce Radford, the Beckleyan. Coming back home and lighting up the scoreboard. Here we go. Rygad is 22. He's the guy we were telling you about. And now a three ball missing. Here comes Smithers for Tech to Hill. Gad is on him. Hill says, I can take you. And he can't. Gad's got it. Quickly up the floor. Quickly to Tierney. Layup, nope. Foul called. Hmm. Good job that time by A.B. getting the ball out and getting in transition. Got to find some information on Kobe Tigney. What do you got? Uh, looks like uh, not on the roster last year, so first-year player for A.B. I don't see anything else as far as uh, transfer or freshman, but he looks – he looks physically fit, so he, he doesn't look like a freshman. That play certainly wasn't a typical freshman play. You said it. And, you know, in colleges the size of WVU Tech, they try to get players that have gone to community colleges sometimes. Right. And uh, that's happened here on this roster. We'll go through the roster of, of the Tech uh, team, but you'll see it sprinkled up and down that roster right kids who have come from other smaller colleges. They really do, and, and you know, the COVID years brought a lot more mature players out on the floor now. It's hard for the high school kids to go straight in now and start playing like Rygad. Mm. That's an exception. Most of the time, you're going to see the transfers and the older players out there. Exactly. Good point. All right, here's Radford. 
Still picked up by Rice. Runner in the lane, count it. Oh, that was sweet by Martin. Darren Martin, the 6'1 sophomore. Great move. Seven point lead. Martin out of Bluefield High School. Frazier LaRoque is wearing number 44. He's at the bottom of your screen. Give and go, lay up good. Simpkins scores, and he'll get more at the line, maybe. I think they called that and one. Simpkins just has a way of finding the basket and making cuts and getting to the rim. Just a real heady player out there. Great move that time. Zach Simpkins, 6'4 and a senior. He's already scored 10 points, leading Alderson Broadus. Got it. So the and one works. The tech lead is five. And we're coming up to six minutes left in the first half. Bryce Radford barking instructions to his teammates. Martin. Give and go to Chop. The big guy leans in, puts it up off the iron, draws the foul. Nope, he traveled. Might have drugged that pivot foot just a little bit. That was sort of an NBA kind of play where you do try to lean in and drag that foot, try to get away with it. Yeah. And these refs were having none of it, Brian. Uh, right, yeah, yeah. In the NBA, that wouldn't have been a walk. Correct. The rope. Yeah, good call. Four-point game. And a timeout called, so. Timeout on the floor. 5.47 left in the first half. We'll be right back in a moment on Video Productions. General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. You keep us going. Thank you. As a former college football player, I realize that sports-related injuries can happen real fast. Hello, I'm Dr. Gross. If your child or grandchild is dealing with sports-related injuries, or maybe you're dealing with something that just won't go away, call me today and I can help you get back on the playing field. To better serve you, see us at one of our three locations in Beckley, Whipple, and Sophia at the numbers listed below. So take care of yourself. You deserve it. Little General Stores has been serving for almost five decades, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. Thank you. And we're back under the dome at the Day Barksdale Court. <clears throat> Bill O'Brien with Brian Helton. Glad to have you aboard, and we're ready to play ball again. WVU Tech by four points. They have led most of the way. And Luke Vass. Wearing number 21 inbounds the ball. He's a six foot junior for the Golden Bears. Rice Radford has it. He's being picked up by Rice. Beckley connection both ends. King from three. That won't get it. Rice skies high for the rebound. The battlers are battling back. Gad gets the three. Counted and he's fouled. Wow. Wow. Wow is right. So impressive for a true freshman to come in. First ball game, big first shot, knocks it down and one. Chop gets his second foul. The big guy for Tech is in early foul trouble. And here comes Gad missing the free throw. Yeah, he hits a 22-footer and then missed the free throw. That happens. I'm sure he's working a lot of adrenaline right now. Right, absolutely. Playing college ball. Had time to think about that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From the corner. Bass missing. Rice. Frazier LaRock. I love that name. Simpkins. LaRock. With the rock. High off the iron. And way up to get the rebound is Martin. And the ball is coming right over here to us, wow. out of bounds. Yeah, since that last break, WVU Tex went four for six from the three-point line. Kind of pushed that lead out. But now getting beaten the rebounding game so far, 
They're getting the re rebounded by 11. <laughs> Stats can tell you a lot. Around the horn. Tech trying to get somebody loose. Oh, and Bryce took his eye off the ball and it goes through his hands. Well, that's one thing about Steven Dye. He's going to keep his team in the game. A lifelong basketball legend. Dad was a coach. Been a part of the game his whole life. He knows, he knows how to keep these games in check. Well, and his team, nicknamed the Battlers, that's the perfect name for they his team. They are battling, absolutely. Bryce from three. Off the iron, no good. Fight for the ball, and there's our guy, Barack. Simpkins. Three ball is good. Wow, he's having a game. Wow. He is well in double figures, and that's the lead for A.B. And with that, a timeout. 60-second break. We'll take it with him on Video Productions. National Bank, where you can purchase or refinance your home with the No Down Payment Champion Mortgage. No down payment, no private mortgage insurance, no kidding. Visit your local branch to get started today. City National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. To learn more, log on to mortgage.bankitcity.com. There you go. That's when you can... Back courtside, glad to have you aboard. Bill O'Brien with Brian Helton. Just looking at uh, the stats for Zach Simpkins for A.B. And, uh, Brian, you were looking at his stats from last year. Pretty impressive. Yeah, very impressive. He averaged eight points a game last year. He's got 16 so far tonight, so off to a great start. High pass. King couldn't handle it. And so now Tech down by two with an even four minutes to play in the half. And Alderson Broadus will inbound the ball. Tech will not pick them up till they get to the three-point arc. Here's Rice. In the weave. Underneath, there he is. Rock. His first basket. Frazier LaRock. Very impressive. Four-point lead. A.B. going to this three-quarter court pressure now. From three. In and out. Great look, great look, just didn't go. Mm -hmm. All right, Rice will settle his team down. Played at Beckley Prep last year. He tries a trade, he's got it. Wow, very nice shot by Corian. Just nice step back three. Six foot junior, his first points of the night. Tough kid and a great kid. Seven point lead. Wow, the oh, Tech's got to stem the tide here somehow. We need a basket this trip for Tech. Work could make it happen. He'll go to the line for two. So Andrew Work had gone to the bench with nine points. And during his time on the bench, Alderson brought us, got their act together, and came from way behind. Right. And now they got a seven-point lead. Well, he carried the load offensively early before he picked up those two fouls. So it's a big difference all around offensively and defensively without him in the game. Work now with 10, leading the Golden Bears tonight. Radford has three long balls for nine. These are the two guys, the guards, that are going to have to make it work for Tech. Work once more. Yep. So that stems the flow. It's needed a five-point lead. So they really needed that, that basket right there. Corey on Rice gets around. The block. And the ball will be out of bounds to Alderson Broadus. The Battlers coached by Stephen Dye. And well coached. You know, <laughs> Brian, you've heard that a lot. When somebody says they're well coached, this is the truth. Both teams very well coached. Absolutely. Long shot short. 
Chop rebounds. And Radford will get to work. And let's get to work. Two and a half to play in the first half. Work from long ball time, and it's not going to be there. And a foul going to be called on Tech. Yeah, not really a necessary foul there. The rebound was already had. There was no reason to foul and put him on the line. It's third foul on Chop. So the reserve center is in foul difficulty, and he will get a seat in Splinter City. <laughs> That's where I spent most of my basketball career. I doubt that. <laughs> Jalen Collins ready to shoot. Count it. Seven point. Six six senior for AB. Collins again. Good again. All right. A seven point deficit for WVU Tech. They got plenty of time to climb out of some of that hole as we approach two minutes left in the first half. King. Radford makes his move to work. Yeah. Great play, great basketball. Great drive by Bryce Radford. Nice dump off, nice finger by work. Brian, that's the way you play the game. That is the way you play the game. Simpkins. Outside, Kobe will try it, and it's off the iron, no good. Whoa, watch. Work fell strangely, and he is he's grimacing. They're going to help him up, but boy, he fell awkwardly. That's how you stretch one of those muscles you're not supposed to stretch. Yeah, both guys just going hard for the ball, and he, like you said, his foot sort of slipped and got out from under him and could have been could have been bad, but he's fine, and we're going to the line, so that's great. A true athlete for sure. Thanks to Little General providing our instant replays tonight. And we got to clean up some of the perspiration on the court there. 146 to play in the first half. Work to the line where he's three for three and 13 total points. Got it. So it's a shootout between Simpkins for AB and Work for WVU Tech. Absolutely. Three point game. Simpkins, long range shot. Not there this time, and Work outworks the defender to get he the ball. He is everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Like his game a lot. And he sees room through a double team. Now to Radford from three, and it is there. not there. Oh, that was so close. Tantalizingly close. <laughs> that would have tied it. Close to a minute left in the half. Rice is going to back things up for a minute. Simpkins. Slip at a slide. Slim is slipping and sliding oh, out there a lot. So much. And look at the effort by everybody. Wow. And he got the ball and called a timeout. Hill does the job. Wow. Great effort both ways right there. Guys all over the floor. That's amazing. So we're going to have some cleanup to do. And while they're cleaning up, let's look at this replay. Yeah, just... Uh, Little too much there. You see a lot of slipping and sliding, and then the bodies all just hit the floor. Both teams going 100% out there. Bill. Wow, they sure are. 48 seconds left in the first half and a three-point lead for A.B. So we mentioned this is the first game for both teams. If you missed our first broadcast, the WVU Tech women defeated Voorhees 105-70. to And what was interesting in that ball game was the fact that the buzzer with the time clock sounded only one time the entire game. Yeah, it was th those ladies were up and down the floor, never even shot clock, never even challenged. They just continued up and down. What an exciting game! Mm -hmm. A lot of points. Yep, 105 points for the yeah Golden Bears. Yeah, it's going to be a good year for them. Yeah, if you if you want to see some great basketball and they're playing here. In Beckley, you need to come watch them play. Well, they're going to play here tomorrow at 3 o'clock against Bluefield. So make your way to the Dome tomorrow. All right. From the head of the lane, King. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Ties the game. His 
second long ball, half a minute to go. Great nice shooter. Comeback. Great yeah. shooter. Here's Rice wants the timeout to talk it over. 25 seconds left till halftime, and we're tied at 41. Just the kind of game we thought we'd have, Brian. Oh, it's amazing. And you see the uh, you see both teams making runs, both teams fighting back and getting into it. What a tremendous basketball game so far. Sure enough. Great environment here tonight, too. I can't believe how big this crowd is. It's very energetic, exciting, and both teams just feeding off that and going at it real you, hard. Tonight. You know, Brian, I think people are ready for a little basketball. Yeah, football's good, but, uh, hey, the round ball is – is worth it, and especially when you've got two exciting teams like Tech, the men's and women's teams. A absolutely. Absolutely. Just a great night of basketball so far. And, of course, you know, we're seeing uh, Aldous and Broadus coming here tonight with a super talented group. It just makes it such a great basketball game. You know, we're going to have a uh, preseason scrimmage high school uh, early in December. Bob Boland puts that together. He's asked that I do a couple of those games, and then he's asked that I do – Woodrow Wilson home games under the dome this year, so that'll be coming oh, up in December too. Can't wait. A lot to look forward to. Simpkins to Rice. Boy, a lot of energy under the basket, and he couldn't catch the ball. Ouch. That was Mack, who would have had a layup or a, a semi-slam had he been able he to would've. catch that, but it was a bullet pass. Yes, it was a tough pass. Really nice set out of the timeout by A.B. Just didn't execute and convert on that pass. Okay, here we go. Work is ready. Radford, they're going to go for one last play. 12 seconds left. Work wants to shoot it. Work puts it up. No. Have time for one. Rice is going to try one at the buzzer. No, he won't. They didn't get one off. So we have played 20 minutes. West Virginia University Tech, 41. Aldous and Broadus, 41. Fun basketball. Glad that you're with us. We'll be back and we'll go through the stats after a quick timeout on Video Productions. Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports. We power your work and your adventure. As a former college football player, I realized that sports-related injuries can happen real fast. Hello, I'm Dr. Gross. If your child or grandchild is dealing with sports-related injuries, or maybe you're dealing with something that just won't go away, call me today and I can help you get back on the playing field. To better serve you, see us at one of our three locations in Beckley, Whipple, and Sophia at the numbers listed below. So take care of yourself. You deserve it. Little General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. You keep us going. Thank you. first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. Tire Pros. Hassle-free. Guaranteed. City National Bank, where you can purchase or refinance your home with the No Down Payment Champion Mortgage. No down payment, no private mortgage insurance, no kidding. Visit your local branch to get started today. City National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. To learn more, log on to mortgage.bankitcity.com. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. And we're back on the day Barksdale Court at the Beckley Raleigh County Convention Center. We've had one half of men's basketball, and boy, it's been fun to watch. WVU Tech and Alderson brought us our tied at 41. Brian Helton is working with me, and Brian, we've got the official stat sheet, and uh, I'll let you go down through the line. 
All right. Yeah, so WVU Tech, as we mentioned, off to a slow start shooting the ball. Boy, they've picked it up since. 15 for 30 overall, 6 of 15 from the three-point line, 5 for 7 for free throws. And uh, one interesting stat, Bill, they only have 11 rebounds compared to 23 for Alderson Brada, so a 12-rebound deficit there. Amazingly clean first game, only four turnovers. That's very impressive, 41 points, only have four turnovers in your first game. So great great start there. Alderson brought us 15 of 33 overall from the field, three for 12 from the three-point line, eight of nine for the free throw line. So that's very impressive. And as we mentioned, 23 rebounds. So, Brian, you know, as a coach, and you've got a stat sheet in front of you, what do you look for? Well, well, definitely shot attempts, how many shots you get versus uh, what the other team's getting. In this case, we're only three three difference, even despite the fact that A.B.'s out-rebound the Tech by almost 12, by 12 rebounds, they've still only gotten off three more shot attempts. And a lot of that is just uh, uh, the turnover ratio. Tech's turned the ball over less times, taken care of that, made the most of their possessions. Let's give you the unofficial, well, now the official stats. Andrew Work with 15 points tonight, five field goals and five of five foul shooting, 15. Nine points for Bryce Radford, who hit three long balls, nine for Radford, six for King. Smithers has five, Parker with two, Martin with two, Hill has two points. That's the scoring for Tech individually. Zach Simpkins leads Alderson Broadus with 16 points, and boy, he was something. 16 for Simpkins. Jalen Collins has eight. Tierney came off the bench. Kobe has four. Corian Rice with three, a long ball for him. Expect more scoring from him. Not started, didn't score. Walker started and did not score. Rye Gad came off the bench and hit a long ball for three. And Frazier LaRock had two. Yeah. And I tell you, it's uh, harder to get close closer than 41-41. So we know we got a great game. The impressive thing too is uh, between both teams, we've had 15 different players score. Mm. Alderson Broadus has eight, and WU Tech has seven. So you're talking about a big contribution from the bench on both teams. There has made a big difference in these runs. Brian, it's interesting too the way this game has gone back and forth. WVU Tech had an eight-point lead with just under nine minutes to go in the first half. And then Alderson brought us got rolling and they had a seven point lead with three minutes and 12 seconds to go in the first half. So then Tech was able to come back and tie the game. So back and forth, a lot of effort, a lot of hustle, and uh, it's just a fun game to watch. By the way, if you missed the first game, the ladies of WVU Tech took care of Voorhees from South Carolina 105 to 70 as WVU Tech has had to rebuild this year. They're doing just fine. Yeah. So there you go on that. We'll be back with more as our halftime show continues from the Armory. But first, let's take a break on video productions. Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports, we power your work and your adventure. You have a goal. You know what you want. Start with us. New River Community and Technical College, your community college. Take classes online or in a classroom in Beaver, Lewisburg, Summersville, or Princeton. Or step outside the classroom in one of our technical or health programs. Find flexible and affordable options to help you reach your goal. It's closer than you think when you start with us. New River Community and Technical College. Apply today. Dad, what is a backflow prevention device? Well, it's a device that's used to protect water supplies from contamination or pollution in homes or businesses. Is that why you were talking to that man? Well, he was a certified plumber from Modley's Plumbing and Heating. Modley's is fully licensed and insured in testing, installation, and service of backflow prevention devices. I just call 304-253-HELP, and they'll take care of it the right way. I thought it was something for the car, so Mom wouldn't hit the house again when she was backing up. 
Beckley Auto Mall, West Virginia's largest GMC Buick dealer, is a proud sponsor of West Virginia high school athletics and our area student athletes. Beckley Auto Mall, with three locations for your convenience. 3934 Robert C. Bird Drive in Beckley, 199 Rogers Street, Princeton, and 368 Seneca Trail in Fairley. Plus, you can shop 24-7 at BeckleyAutoMall.com. Beckley Auto Mall and West Virginia student athletes. A winning combination. GMC. We are professional grade. Watching the uh, WVU Tech players warm up to our left. Alderson brought us off to the right. I had a chance and didn't get a chance to mention my chat with head tech coach George Wilmore in his office yesterday and just asked him about this team. And he said, we've got great people. And as a coach, that's what you look for. Of course, you want talent. But if you got great people, You've got an easier job of coaching, and I think that's what he's looking for. He says, they've got a great attitude. They want to get better. Right. And, you know, Brian Helton, you know that that's what it's all about. If you got a good attitude, you got to have a little bit of athleticism, but you got to have the right attitude, and it appears that Tech does. Absolutely. You know, it seems like a lot of chemistry, and you can see just quality kids. And that, you know, as a college coach, which I've never done, but I can imagine having to keep up with the kids – not only on the court, but you don't get to send them home either. You're, you're responsible for these young men at all time. And to have guys you can trust and count on goes such a long way. And then this chemistry you can see tonight, these guys play really well together. And you can actually see that out of both teams tonight. I mean, you know, Coach Dyes, we mentioned, just a first-class act. And you can see the same thing in his kids. Of course, as we mentioned, number four, Corey and Rice, was with us at Beckley Prep. And so he lived here in Beckley years. We still talk to him right here. And that's a quality kid, and you can just see it, Rye Gad, all the kids on these teams. And it's so nice, really, for both teams to see all these West Virginia kids out here playing. That's that's exciting as well for all the local fans, and I'm sure that's why we have such a good turnout tonight. Well, exactly. Let's just take a look while we have the opportunity. We mentioned Andrew Work from Oak Hill High School. Darren Martin, you've mentioned, from Bluefield. And he also went to Massanutan Military Academy in Virginia. Ashton Parker, who started tonight is from Rock Hill, South Carolina. As you know, that is right there in the uh, the metro area of Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And he also went to Spartanburg Methodist before coming here. Mm -hmm. Keandre King from Wheeling Park High School. Brant Smithers from Williamstown, Kentucky. Thomas Haley, who is not playing tonight, but is really an exceptional player. He's got a shoulder injury. He scored 11 points per game last year. He's from Covenant Day High School in Monroe, North Carolina. Bryce Radford, you know, from Woodrow Wilson here in Beckley. And we mentioned the big setter, Silu Chop. Spells his last name D-I-O-P. He's 6'10", pronounces it Chop from Senegal. And before that went to or after that, went to Virginia Episcopal School. So that gives you an idea about the WVU Tech team. They got some local kids, but got some from other places, and, and that's what makes things impressive. You know, you gotta you got to be able to get kids not only from locally, but other places as well, and, and the coach has been able to do that. Right, absolutely, and you can see it really coming together here early in the year. Just such a good start for both teams, I think, and both coaches have to be real happy, although – they're not happy right now. Right now, they're both in a 41-41 game, so, but they'll definitely have some good positive to look back on this first half. We're just about three minutes away from tipping off the second half, and we'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back on Video Productions.
Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports. We power your work and your adventure. Welcome to Allstate. You already paid for car insurance. Why not take your home along for the ride? Allstate. Here, better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Call a local agent or 1-800-ALLSTATE for a quote today. We all hear things that go bump in the night. But it shouldn't be our car engine making those scary noises. There are definitely things out there to be scared of. But making your new car purchase at Hometown Kia isn't one of those. Stop digging a grave for that old ride and test drive a new Kia today. Hometown Kia of Beckley wants to make your new car buying experience thrilling. But not so shocking it leaves cobwebs and dark corners in your wallet. So quit walking around like a zombie and start riding around in style in a new Kia from Hometown Kia of Beckley. Every year, the big banks raise their fees while reducing the services they provide. How do they get away with that? If you were to join Pioneer Community Bank, your money would stay right here, supporting a local business which results in lower fees and better customer service for you. Sounds like a plan. So you're not really stuck with the big banks and their policies. Keep your money where it belongs, right here with Pioneer Community Bank. Pioneer Community Bank with locations in Beckley, Jaeger, Sophia, Moore, and Welch. Member FDIC. What's more important to you when buying windows, siding, and doors? Is it energy savings, cost, quality, warranty, or perhaps color options, low maintenance, service, or financing options? Or all of the above, when the world offers it all. We listen to your needs and go above and beyond your expectations. Schedule your free, no obligation, in-home estimate by calling Window World of Beckley today. Talk about legendary. We're at the Dave Barksdale Court, ready for the second half of play. Glad to have you aboard. Yours truly, Bill O'Brien, with Brian Helton. And it's a 41 all tie at intermission. Both these teams still feeling their way through, and they've got a lot going for them. Here we go. We'll set this up for you. Andrew Work, wearing number one on his white home uniform, making his move, backing in. He's led the team in scoring so far. Bryce Radford sees room, lays it up and in. Nice his, drive by Bryce, put it on the floor. His first two-pointer, Radford with 11 total. And Tech has retaken the lead. They had an eight-point lead. They lost it in the first half. Up oh, here comes the left, blocked! Wow. wow, what a block! And traveling this call, that's the right call. Ashton Parker blocked it and had it and then fell on the seat of his pants and that's traveling. What, what, another what an play. effort, huh? Well, he's a shot changer. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 32 Simpkins. He's been the big gun for Alderson Broadus. And around the horn they go. Mountain East Conference now. Instead of the old WVIAC, Alderson Broadus. Block and a whistle. So yeah. let's take a look at these starters. For Tech, it's Work, Parker, King, Smithers, and Radford, the original starting lineup. And A.B. And looking, and I don't see anybody new. And over the back, there's going to be a foul on Tech. That is the second of the first foul on Parker. By the way, nobody on either team in foul trouble except for the backup setter for the Golden Bears, Sally Chop. He's got three. Inbounds play, here is Corian Rice. Talking about him, and he's a good one. So far, he really hasn't had a chance to get points. Simpkins has. Wow, yeah, Simpkins is on fire. 18 Eight, points. 18, wow. Tied at 43. Opening minute of the second half, and only two halves in men's college basketball. And boy, what a pace. Smithers, he's got it. 
Smithers scores for the third time. And Tech leads. True freshman. Yeah. Pretty nice. This team is just fun to watch. Rice. He sees room. The defense collapses, so they'll try a three ball, and it's banked in good. Well, wow, King gets it. I wonder if he called that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A.B. now has the lead, 46-45. On the other end, a collision of massive importance. And to the line, Mr. Work. Yeah, more of what we've seen all night from Andrew Work there, just getting the ball, going downhill with it, and going strong in the basket. Thanks to Little General Stores for providing our instant replays. Little General, there's one near you. Okay, Work, who has hit five out of five foul shooting, and swishes in that one. 16 total points. And we're tied again, 46. If he's not a first-team all-conference selection, I've never seen one. I'll tell you what, he's impressive. He knows where to be on the floor, and he gives maximum effort, and that one rolls in. So he's perfect from the line tonight, and Tech retakes a one-point lead. Here we go. Rice, Simpkins. Simpkins has room, layup, rimmed out. That'll be the easiest shot he'll have tonight. And he'll make it 99 out of 100 times, except that one. <laughs> That's right. Great drive. Just didn't get that finish. And we've got a foul called. And let's take a look. 24, Jalen Collins. That is his third. Hmm. That's big. Mm -hmm. And by the way, earlier, Ashton Parker for Tech had his third personal. And I that's know. big. The yeah. fouls are starting to add up. Radford off the iron, no good. You take a big chance when you go under that screen with Bryce Radford shooting the ball. Radford, once he gets hot, watch out. And rimmed out that time by Rice, and so the Golden Bears on the attack, up by one. Opening game of the year for both teams. Spin, nope, can't do it. Radford will try. He's got it. That's a tray. That's his fourth one. Wow. Short bank shot, no good on the other end, and the rebound easily to Parker. Wow, 50 to 46. This has been a fun game to watch. Great game, great game. And Tech's gotten off to a good start this half. And you just see another, that three by Bryce, just again. But he went under the screen the first time and he missed it, he made up for it there. That's four for him now. And he's a streak shooter. When he gets hot, watch out. He got hot in the first half and hit those three in a row. Or at least close. Simpkins. Ball stripped out of his hands. Foul is going to be on Smithers, his second for Tech. He got a little aggressive there. And Coach Wilmore comes over there, and he's doing a little pantomime of to the referee of what he saw. The referee says, wait a minute, let me talk to my partner and see. You know, that's they're good communication. To, I think they're trying to decide if Simpkins was in the motion of shooting or not, and they say he is. So it looks like he's going to get three shots. These three officials, they, um, they are provided by the conference. They're veterans, and they've done a good job here tonight. Yes, they have. Simpkins ready. Well, that's the first one he's missed. He's now three out of four foul shooting. 18 points. Simpkins, a 6'4 senior. And that one rolls in, and he'll get one more try. I think Bryce Rafford told the official the ball don't lie when he missed that first one. <laughs> <laughs> Here come the Golden Bears. Coached by George Wilmore. James Long has moved on, not in coaching anymore, but well, he did a great job in his years here at WVU Tech. And I will bet you he'll be back in coaching one day. Yeah, three straight national tournament appearances. Boy, work. Did you see the, the give and go pass to Parker? Parker missed the slam, but he'll get a chance at the foul line. 
There you saw the replay. 16 and a half minutes to go in the ball game and a three point lead for WVU Tech. Yeah, both teams off to a good start offensively here in the half so far. Parker 0 for 2, foul shooting, and that one's good. It's third point. Ashton Parker, 6'6", and a junior, but he plays like he's a guard. Very athletic. Very athletic. Five blocks on the books, but he's had a couple of more that would have counted had, had a uh, foul not been called. Yeah, especially early in the game, he was something defensively. Yes. Got them both. Five-point game. Tech. All right. Here's Simpkins. Frazier LaRock wearing 44. That's Mack, number five. LaRock again. Mack will try the three, and he's got it. Nice face up three. The junior off the bench gets in the scorebook for the first time, and the lead is two points, 16 minutes left. These teams tend to compete, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, sometimes you'll have a, a team and you've got five good starters and you hope that you don't have to go to your bench. But, hey, these teams, and especially Tech, they don't miss much when they go to the bench. No, there's a lot of con contributors. Every, everyone that's come on the floor tonight has made a contribution, both teams. Absolutely. Inbounds play, King. Lobs it to work. Work being guarded by... Mack now. Wow. wow, look at that. Jiminy Christmas, he is shredding them with that drive of the basket. Wow, uh, that's something. Work is fun to watch. Simpkins. Mack. LaRock, give and go. Tipped away, and there's the steal. And there's Parker doing it again. Radford, yes! Great job trailing by Bryce, get his feet set. Tremendous job in transition by WVU Tech to get that shot. That's five log balls, let's watch it again. Again, there's that trail. Once he gets his feet set, 30 feet in, you can count it. Let's take a quick break. You're watching basketball action from the Armory on Video Productions. Name is Hank, and I'm coming clean. Everyone I know thinks I know something about plumbing. Oh, I look the part. I talk the talk. I have all the tools, snake, pipe wrenches, torches, but I can't fix anything. I can't even flush a toilet. What they don't know is I've been calling Motley's Plumbing and Heating. They're fully licensed and insured. I just simply call 304-253-HELP, and here they come down the road to fix the problem. It just feels so good to get rid of the guilt. As a former college football player, I realized that sports-related injuries can happen real fast. Hello, I'm Dr. Gross. If your child or grandchild is dealing with sports-related injuries, or maybe you're dealing with something that just won't go away, call me today and I can help you get back on the playing field. To better serve you, see us at one of our three locations in Beckley, Whipple, and Sophia at the numbers listed below. So take care of yourself. You deserve it. And we're back under the dome at the Beckley Rowley County Convention Center. Bill O'Brien with Brian Helton. Glad to have you aboard. Tomorrow, by the way, WVU Tech women's team will play at 3 o'clock against Bluefield. And uh, we will have that on video productions. The men's team will not play tomorrow. They're giving it their all right now and have a seven-point lead. And here come the battlers from A.B. Alderson Gratis. LaRock, Kobe, spin move, nope, he was going to be blocked. He'll give it back outside. Look at that defense. There's going to be a foul called. So, uh, Tigney, Kobe Tigney, sophomore, will go to the line where he's two for two and four total points. Let's see what we've got on him. Winchester, Virginia, Garrett Community College. Yeah. Nope. One more shot at it. You know, when talking to Coach Wilmore from Tech, and he mentioned about a couple of kids 
on the AB team from Ohio. He already knew what he was facing. <laughs> right. Second shot good. A tight circle of recruiting they, and a great job of scouting there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Parker. Impressive. A nice soft shot. And it's an eight-point game. This is the longest lead for Tech. AB had an eight-point lead in the first half. Yeah, AB's going to need to answer here and keep themselves in this game. So it's a pretty important possession right here for them. Gad is in the ball game. We're number 22 in the blue shirt. Yeah. And there's a foul as traffic got a little bit tough. Yeah, it's just good help down defense. Got a hand on that ball and created a turnover. And then AB turns around and commits that foul. 70 feet from the basket. Okay. Golden Bears are on the attack. Darren Martin, 6'1 sophomore, yo-yoing the basketball now. Gets around the block. The pick goes in for the runner. Not quite there. Gad rebounds. Come the other way. Mack. Want to take the long ball. Now Rice will drive and dish out. That's an air ball. Here's work. Watch out. It's showtime coming up. Radford to work. Yeah, Aldis and Broadus getting in that danger zone. They need to get some stops and figure out a way to get a bucket. And Hill tried to give and go underneath the chop, who comes up limping. The big guy from Senegal is going to stay in the ball game. He's saddled with three fouls. 13.50 to go in this ball game. And a 59-51 lead for the hometown WVU Tech Golden Bears. Here's work. He wants to make something happen. Leans in, puts it up, rolls it off. Oh, tough luck miss from three feet. Rice, see what he can do. If he gets started, he's only been held to three points so far tonight. He yeah, he's a very capable out. offensive player. Uh-huh. And there's another one. Gad <laughs> from three, his second long ball. True freshman come up with a big needed shot right there for Alderson Bonds. Lead is cut to five. Very important shot. See if working. Do it again. Going one-on-one, -on -one, dishes it out. Here's Parker, running shot, no. He tips it over. What Rice a play by Corey on Rice. One-on-one, -on -one, wow. block, and a foul. Couldn't help it. Yeah, see, Wes, what a great effort by Corey on Rice. That ball, he shouldn't have got that ball, but he just wanted it and got it, and consequently on that foul line. You know, Brian, you've been around a lot of players over the years, and, I mean, Look at what we're looking at tonight. I tell you what, there's a lot of talent out here. When people think about small college basketball, NAI, Division II, doesn't matter. They're a tremendous player at this level of basketball. And, boy, it sure is fun to watch, isn't it? Amen to that. Rice gets his fourth point of the night. Six-foot junior, as we told you. He was a Beckley prep. So my partner knows about him. Great kid. Tremendous kid. And super competitor, as we saw in that play right there. And he makes them both. From Akron, Ohio. Three-point lead. 13 minutes even to play. Martin. Radford, 25-footer, rims out no good. He was knocked to the floor as they let fly. And there was no whistle. Rice again. If he starts to feel it, watch out. Walker, The Rock stops, pops, gets fouled. That's four on the out. Mm. It's going to make him bring Parker in back a little earlier probably than Coach Wilmore wanted to. That, they've been a great substitute in and out to keep that rim protector in. That's going to put a little more pressure for him to bring Parker back in early. The top of his fourth foul. Frazier, La Rock got it. His third point. What a game of runs. So here we are back to a two-point game. Sophomore from Toronto, Canada, George Harris Prep. A little line drive action there making it. And all of a sudden, that lead by Tech is reduced to one. <laughs> wow. Nobody can really get a run going. 
No, it's back and forth. Mm -hmm. That's what makes this game so much fun. Parker with it. Wing shot. Got yes, it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's King with his third long ball. Nice. You can't let him catch and get his feet set. Rice lobs it underneath. LaRock stops, and he's got it. And one. Mm. Ouch. You just saw a really nice pick and roll there. Great job by Corian Rice coming off the screen, making that nice dump pass and a good, strong finish. Look at that power. And that's Parker's fourth foul yeah, for the that's Golden Bears. Yeah, very costly. Very costly. And he goes to the bench. So it's 62 60 as we approach 12 minutes left in the ball game. And it's good. Three point play there for LaRock. And the lead is one for Tech. And number one has it. That's work. Andrew Work. Three ball by King. Nope. And here we come the other way. Nice rebound by Gad. Great pass. LaRock. Gad, watch out for him. He can do it all. Little finger roll. Wow. He's got it. Look at that freshman. Wow. He's right. Right, Gad with eight points. And they've got the lead now, A.B. Here's work. Into the paint. There's the foul. Boy, he took a shot that time. Darren Martin, who's a tough guy. And he's not going to. He's not going to fret about it, but boy, he took a shot. Yeah, Here it is. A, yeah, did a great job getting getting him off his feet and then drew the contact. Good, strong, physical play by Mark. Foul is going to be called on Tigney. They had a timeout, 11 and a half to go. Let's take a timeout with them on Video Productions. first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. Tire Pros. Hassle-free. Guaranteed. Little General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. That's nearly 50 years of providing those essential needs for your daily journey. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. We know these last couple years haven't been easy, but with every sunrise and sunset, you keep us going. To the LG family, the moms, dads, sisters, brothers, sons, and daughters of West Virginia, thank you. Glad to have you back. There's the warning horn. Dave Barksdale Court under the dome at the Armory. The beautiful and spacious, and not a lot of people know this because they're not as old as I am. I've been doing this now, the 48th season. This building is 60 years old for this season, wow. and it still looks great. It does. It looks new. At the line, count the free throw for Darren Martin. The sophomore ties the game. This has just been one fun game to watch. Hope you're enjoying it here on Video Productions. And that one, it wanted to go in, but popped out. And we've got new stats, and Brian Helton will give you an update on that in just a moment. Right now, Rice is trying to make things happen. Gad underneath LaRock. He whips a pass that's intercepted that time by Martin. Great anticipation mm -hmm. by Martin. Good D. Smithers. Now work, and he overhanded the ball. Yeah, maybe a little bit. You know, uh, here on the stat sheet, you just look at what's happened recently. You have Bryce Rafford and Keandre King lighting it up from outside, really helped surge, and, of course, Andrew Work from everywhere. And then for Alderson brought us Corey and Rice and Rygad. Been big spark plugs from that three-point line as well. And Simpkins continues to just do his thing. Radford with 17 points now for Tech, and there's a bad pass by Rice. Tie game at 63, just under 11 minutes to play in the ball game. Simpkins has been the big gun for AB with 18. Here's Work. He's been kept in check here for the last few minutes.
Watch out. Hill muscles it up, draws the foul. Gad got him. I think Coach Stephen Dye, he is yelling, I think, at his team as much as at the officials, but that was a good call. That's the third foul, by the way, on Gad. Hill gets it. So he's got three points, 6-5 and a freshman. Will Hill, Dayton, Ohio. Got it. So it's a two-point game. Favor of Tech, 10 and a half to go. Wow, what a game. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to come down to the wire. LaRock to the left side. Around the screen. Now watch out. Here's Rice. Wrap around pass. LaRock. Oh, there wow. is the Slammerini. Wow, didn't see that coming. They left him. Uh, Thought had him kind of stopped and sort of helped off and left him and two hand slam. Will Hill wearing number 11 to Martin. Martin makes his move just as he did to Bluefield. A little too strong off the glass. And Rice will go. He's been kept in check so far. Work is on him. Now they switch. Hill is on him. Rice gets around him and nice scores. Move. Nice move by Corian Rice. Seven points for Rice. Woo, and the lead game. by AB. Two Back points. And forth. Back and forth. Yes, sir. What a chess match. The players and the coaches. Yeah, everybody here is getting quite a show tonight. What a great Got that basketball right. game. Yes, sir. Andrew Work. The three ball all the way by Smithers. Wow. He's got it. His second long ball and 10 total points. True freshman there coming up big. And a one-point game favor of the Golden Bears. Both these coaches are just running great half-court sets, getting their guys great shots and really good execution. Here's Kobe leaning in. No good, but a blocking foul on Tech. Just under nine minutes to go. Here's a little general replay. Yeah, just coming right there, Corey on Rice. What a great drive, great pass. They sort of left him there in the help, and there goes the big two-hand slam. Nick Eskins is our producer-director tonight. Nick at night doing a great job, and we thank him so much. And count the bucket for Kobe Tigney. He's now yeah. hit four out of five foul shots. Wow, yeah. And you see there on the replay, just the true freshman stepping up in a big moment, spot up three. Tigney again. Good again. The hard way. Tied at 68. Well, it'll be interesting. This may be one of those, Brian, where whoever's got the ball last wins. It sure seems that way, doesn't it? Here's Bryce Radford. Right in front of our location. They're not going under this screen now. Work leans in, crashes into the defender. What have they called? I think they called a block. Could have gone either way. Yeah, Bryce doing a great job reading that screen coming off. Andrew Work putting the ball on the floor, getting strong in the basket. Fourth That's foul sort of a, on Rygan. Yeah, that was sort of a bang-bang call. I mean, that puts the official in a tough position, but all in all, uh, possibly the right call there. Work is seven for seven at the foul line. 19 total points. And he's got it. I don't know how that went in. That was way off the mark. Shooters, <laughs> shooters roll. Yeah. The way he's playing, all of them are going in. Tonight. Yeah, I guess. That was the announcer's curse. <laughs> Andrew Work, Oak Hill High School grad, 6'3 and a junior. What a player. What a player. And that one didn't. His luck ran out. Tied at 69. Eight and a half to play. Don't leave. You got that right. I don't think you're going to have anybody leaving here tonight. LaRock. Kobe's got it. Wow. Euro step gets it. Nice drive. Great set that time. Got him off the rub there, and he's made a great move to the basket to the left hand. Kobe Tickney. Looking good. Two-point lead, A.B. Andrew Work. 
through a double team. Still moving. One hander, yes. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Putting on a show. Both both ways now. Just really great offensive basketball. Right uh huh. Now. I don't think the defense is that bad. No, these guys are executing. I mean, and you got a lot of a lot of offensive talent on the floor. There's King. Got it. Bank yeah. shot good. Sophomore has five points. And again, two-point lead for A.B. Well, we were saying earlier how many different guys are contributing throughout the whole game, and now crunch time, you got the same thing. This makes, makes a great offensive night for both teams. Work moving in. A little awkward there, and he traveled. He wanted to make it all by himself, and he got a little bit off kilter. So 73-71, the Battlers from Alderson brought us with Seven minutes and 17 seconds left in regulation. Wouldn't that be something? Yes. Could be headed there. Three ball airborne? No. Tipped out of bounds to Tech. Oh, my. Game was tied at 41 at intermission. After one team had an eight-point lead, the other had a seven-point lead. It's just been back and forth like that. And yep. It has been just a quality performance, and it's hard to believe, Brian Helton, this is the opening game of the season. All of these kids are going to get better. These teams are playing like it's late season form, and I really mean that. It's an amazing game. You, you expect that first game offensively to have some problems, but not tonight with these guys. Here's work. Thuds off the iron, no good. And LaRock gets the rebound, and watch out for Simpkins. He wants to score. But instead, to LaRock. Done a nice job off the bench, 44. Yes, he has. 21 is King. And 20 is Walker. King going in for the scoop. Wow. LaRock with the slam. Wow. He's got 11. Wow. And all of a sudden, a four-point lead for A.B. Oh. Hmm. What a nice driving dish. Good movement by the Golden Bears. Radford's got it now. He's putting his head down, going nice to the layup. Drive. It's good, and he's fouled. Oh, yes. He Bryce knows Radford. how to play the game. Knows yeah. how to play the game. 21 points. You know, you see there uh, just that nice drive, that nice addition. To, again, the big two-hand slam by 44. And we got a timeout. It's 75-73 AB. We'll be back after these messages on Video Productions. I hear things that go bump in the night, but it shouldn't be our car engine making those scary noises. There are definitely things out there to be scared of. But making your new car purchase at Hometown Kia isn't one of those. Stop digging a grave for that old ride and test drive a new Kia today. Hometown Kia of Beckley wants to make your new car buying experience thrilling. But not so shocking it leaves cobwebs and dark corners in your wallet. So quit walking around like a zombie and start riding around in style in a new Kia from Hometown Kia of Beckley. You have a goal. You know what you want. Start with us. New River Community and Technical College, your community college. Take classes online or in a classroom in Beaver, Lewisburg, Summersville, or Princeton. Or step outside the classroom in one of our technical or health programs. Find flexible and affordable options to help you reach your goal. It's closer than you think when you start with us. New River Community and Technical College. Apply today. Let me correct myself on scoring. Bryce Radford has 19 points now. And Andrew Work has 22 points, leading the Golden Bears. And for Alderson Bratis, we told you Zach Simpkins with 19 leads the way. Tickney has 10. LaRock has 11. So those are all the double-figure scores. Yeah, and you see that last drive by Bryce Radford, just reading the play right, getting the ball going strong. And Radford will look for his 20th point now. His first chance at the line tonight. Yeah, and he it's comes perfect. alive in those big moments, doesn't he? Much needed basket for WVU Tech, and he delivered. He has performed in this building so many times, and I know he's thrilled to be back after going to IUP, Indiana University, Pennsylvania. All right. A one-point lead for A.B. Trying for more. Spin, one-hander. Counted. That's King. Nice. Had some nice plays here in the second half. 
three-point game. And number three, Ashton Parker, is back in the ball game, playing with four fouls. Work. He sees a little daylight. Ball stabbed away from behind, and a terrific defensive play by the Battlers. Here they come. Approaching five minutes to play. Still plenty of time. Nice crowd here tonight under the dome at the Armory in Beckley. There's King again with his back to the basket. And Kobe will try the little finger roll lay in, and he's got it. Got to keep him, got to keep him from going that left hand, because once he gets going downhill that way, it's awfully hard to stop. Kobe Tigney, who has really done a great job off the bench for AB, five-point lead. 440 left in regulation. Bradford moves in. A three barrel is airborne, and it will not go down. And Tigney's got the ball of the rebound. That was the right guy to have shooting that shot, though. Uh, Keandre King, sharpshooter, had a good look, just didn't go down. Just didn't go. Still plenty of time. But Alderson brought us. Is, they've got a nice-looking team. Simpkins. Low post. Watch out. LaRock from three. Thuds off the iron, and here's work. This is an important offensive Trip down the floor yes, for the Golden Bears. Yes, it is. Bill. Smithers. Now work. Simpkins on him. The two big guns. Work throws one up and it's in and it's good and he's fouled. Oh my. Wow, work is getting the ball on the wing, facing up. What we've seen all night. Here he goes, just getting downhill. Strong finish and one. That was something. Something to behold, 24 points. What an impressive play. He is perfect at the line tonight. Oh, check me, he missed his last one. He made up for it there. Okay, back to a two-point game with just under four minutes to play. Huh. This is what basketball is supposed to be like. You said it, you said it. Where else would you rather be? Mm. Right here. Bobby Bolin, you better watch out, pal. <laughs> well, Bobby Bolin put a, uh, had teams put up lots of points in this building. I can tell you that right now. And that's why he was National Coach of the Year in college. Absolutely. National Championship. That's right. He right here in Beckley. And I was at that game in person. Really? As a spectator, yeah. I watched it on TV. I remember it. What a, what a great group of teams he had. What an amazing job he did here for, for this community. You got it. He's just a great guy, and he does a terrific job doing color on video productions. Here is yeah, work. He he's leaning in, blocked, and he's fouled. Whoa. Yeah, It'll work. be interesting to see the replay on this one. Yeah, it was kind of a bang-bang play. Again, work just going hard and uh, getting rewarded for going hard in the basket. It was kind of hard to tell there. May have called the contact down low, but sort of looked uh, – just another good play by work. Let's leave it at that. Talik Walker with his fourth foul for the Battlers. And here's Mr. Work. Count it. There's some pretty important fouls starting to pile up both ways on some key guys that are going to be needed down the stretch. Yes, sir. I'm running out of room in my score pad. <laughs> this could tie the game with 317 left if Work can convert. 6-3 junior. Andrew Work. There's a reason he's wearing number one. Yeah. And that one wouldn't go down. Only his second miss of the night in 15 tries. Okay. King with it. Gives it off. Little layup. Wow. That's good. Well executed play. Nice drive of the basket. That's Collins. Ten points for him. Three-point game. Three minutes left. Well, that's where Corian Rice makes such a difference. He's running the team, not getting all the points offensively. Here's Hill. Oh, yeah, he wow, sees room, and he what took three job. steps and laid it in. Will Hill scores, and it's an 81-80 game. Tech down by one. Rice, around the horn they go. From three land, that's way off the mark, and Hill's got the rebound. Woo, two and a half left. Wow. Tech with a chance to retake the lead. Right when you think one team is going to get going, 
the other team makes a comeback. It's a game of runs, amazing. Look at this. Beautiful drive by Bryce Radford. Radford gets it done, and Tech leads by one. Big. Huge play. Two minutes, two seconds left. Uh-oh. He had all court, and Simpkins gets an uncontested lay-in, and the Battlers lead 83-82, and with 156 left, there's a timeout. Whew. Oh, my. I think everybody's ready for a little break. Let's take a break. We'll be back in 60 seconds from the Armory on Video Productions. Welcome to Allstate. You already pay for car insurance. Why not take your home along for the ride? Allstate. Here, better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Call a local agent or 1-800-ALLSTATE for a quote today. Unlock the money already in your home at City National Bank. Consolidate loans or fund your next big project with a home equity line of credit with a great low intro rate. Visit your local branch to get started. City National Bank. We just looked at one of the refs. He came our way, and we were going to compliment him. But I mean, he was in the zone. I mean, these refs are in it just like the players and the broadcasters. Boy, they're sweating red-faced. It's full out for them too, isn't it? Lay Look, up at that. Look at that. Wow. And Tech retakes the lead. 84-83, 137 left in regulation. Huge basket by work. And a foul is going to be called on Tech. Oh, my. Yeah, I didn't need that one. Yeah. Simpkins, who got the uncontested lay-in last time down the floor, will go to the line. And he has hit four out of six foul shooting tonight. Leads the team in scoring. Well over 20 points. Zach Simpkins, a 6'4 senior. Ready. Got it. And we're tied again at 84. 133 left in regulation. What a game. Yeah. Simpkins again. Got it. Mm. You know, that's pressure. Yeah, it is pressure. Both, I mean, there's so many guys making big plays out here. You just got to enjoy this moment to see these guys doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Andrew Work. Working the point. Gets around his guy. Wants his teammates to lob underneath. Great There's pass. the lay-in count. Good for Parker. Great pass. 86-85. Tech, 107 left. Kobe, passing. On the switch. Long shot, no good. Rebound followed too strong. Rebound again. Yes, and oh. he's fouled. Oh, my. That was King going to the line after the make. What a difference he's made this second half. He has been a man around that basket. Tremendous play, just great effort. He's just a sophomore. Just taking the ball away once, twice, and then finishing in one. John King from Akron, Ohio, went to Kent State before playing here mm. and he gets his 10th point 87 86 favor of alderson brought us and we have 47 seconds left here's work around the pick no it didn't work king radford king to radford long shot yes Whoa! What a shot. My goodness. That was wow, amazing. Wow, what a shot. Amazing. Wow. That is six trays. Let's see it again. Yeah, there's Bryce just, what, 35 feet, just big time basket, under pressure, not a bigger moment. What a shot. My goodness. Jeez. I'm in awe of these, these guys. This is just major league basketball. 89-88, WVU Tech. And no matter what happens as to who wins this game, 
They're both winners, and you got to follow the Tech Golden Bears, both men and women's teams. What a night for WVU Tech. I mean, you you know, you don't even need to know if it's the men's or the women's team playing. If there's a game here, you need to come see it because either one of these teams are very impressive. You and Alderson brought us what a, what a great job by their guys tonight as well. 25 points for Bryce Radford and Andrew Work. He has really put the points up too, but it's been a team effort. Yeah, two of them have scored a bunch, but there have been other things. And, and you, Brian Helton, as a former coach, you know the intricacies of what they've done. Well, both uh, Andrew Work and Bryce Radford, the, the past eight minutes or so, have just picked them up and carried them. But the thing is, you see the chemistry on this team where other guys are willing to play their role and allow them to do that. And that's that's what coach, a guy like Coach Wilmore does. And that's why these moments are happening right now. Both teams, both ways. Corey on Rice. Huge possession. He's None the bigger. Man. He may be the man. Let's see. On the high post. Pushed away. Got away with it. And scores. So Collins is his 11th and 12th point. And all of a sudden, Alderson Bratis has a one-point lead at 90-89 with 16.6 ticks left. Wow. Wow, Kai, I just I can't even say enough about this game tonight. I'm afraid to go to a commercial because we might miss something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's why there's no one. You see no one getting up leaving their uh -uh. seats. No. Oh, my gosh. Well, if you tuned in late, where have you been? Alderson Bratis and Tech. Played to a 41 all-time by intermission. They traded long leads, one with an eight-point advantage in the first half, the other with a seven-point lead. And in the second half, neither team has been able to break loose. Great athletes, terrific coaching, and it's been just a fantastic game to watch. It's been an unbelievable game. And like you said, big plays both ways, big moments. We've seen uh, true freshmen, and we've seen – four-year players out here, and all of them contributing, making big plays. Well, they really have. So, Andrew Work and Bryce Radford, those are the guards for WVU Tech. For Alders and Broadus, Zach Simpkins has been the big gun, but they've also had LaRock to come off the bench. King has done very well for them, and uh, Kobe Tigney yep. has done great off the bench been a team effort that's for sure really has here we go all right tech down by one 14 seconds left they come up with a play bryce radford says i've got room he goes in for a lap <laughs> loses his footing and i think he'll go to the line he's fouled 9.6 remaining bryce did a great job there just recognize the situation ball in the left hand strong to the rim drew the foul Two big free throws coming up for an excellent free throw shooter. He is indeed. He's only been there one time tonight, making it. He has hit six long balls. Bryce Radford, and he missed. That's all right. Still got one here. Yep. I put the announcer's whammy on him. I'm sorry, Bryce. Radford, 5'10", a red shirt freshman, a red shirt sophomore. And now A.B. is called for a timeout. Well, I'd venture to say either coach in the building right now, if you're going to pick one guy to shoot this next free throw, it's Bryce Rafford. You know, that's right. And if they, you know, Stephen Dye is an excellent coach. You know, he thinks he's he's going to put the whammy on Bryce Radford. I don't think so. <laughs> no, Stephen Dye knows how to coach at the end, end of these games. Uh, he's trying to do that like you freeze the field goal kicker yeah. in football. But I don't think it's going to work on no, Bryce. No, no. But – you know, uh, Coach Dye last year, uh, uh, just so impressive, took his team to the Final Four of the MEC. Most uh, wins they've had since 2018 at Alderson Broadus. And you can see why in the way he's coaching this game tonight. No doubt about it. He's got some kids, and he knows what to do. Meantime, George Wilmore in his first game as a head basketball coach. And uh, look at him. I mean, he has just come through. Absolutely. I mean, he, he's a first-class act, uh, has done a great job with the X and O's, great job getting the right rotation, the guys in the game, very well managed by the, by the WVU Tech coaching staff. And remember, Brian, that Tech is without Thomas Haley, who is wow. one of their big guns. Yeah, preseason so. uh, all-conference player. There you go. All right, here we go. 
Bryce Radford needs to make this shot to tie the game up with less than 10 seconds to go. And he's got it. Nothing but net. You called it. We're tied at 90. And as we mentioned earlier, the last team with the basketball is going to win. A.B. thinks they can do it. Rice to a double team. Dishes it out. Atreya is airborne. And it's no good. Oh, wow. We go to <laughs> overtime. Just as we predicted. Yes, you called it. You called it. My gosh. Now we, we are going to take a break. We've got to refuel our voices. We'll be back in 60 seconds for overtime. 90-90 here under the dome at the Dave Barksdale Court on Video Productions. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. Massey Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports, we power your work and your adventure. Nachos, better with Pepsi. <sighs> well, folks, this is one of the best basketball games I have ever had a chance to broadcast, and I've been doing this now. This is my 48th year. Brian Helton, you're my lucky charm. Even though you've been in this business 48 minutes, hey, well, it's I, working out for you. I feel like I've been 48 years here tonight. It's been <laughs> what a great basketball game. It's been amazing. It really has. We're ready to go. Overtime, five minutes. We're tied at 90. Alderson brought us. We've got the new stat sheet, and we'll recap that as we get the opportunity. Here's Rice, Corey on Rice, wearing number four in his blue outfit. Around the horn they go. This has been the big gun, Simpkins, 23 points. Tipped away, stolen. That's Radford with it. Great hustle play, great defense by mm. WVU. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, these players have given 100%. That's all you can ask of them. You're right. Andrew Work, 28 points for him, I think, 26. Off the mark. Tigney with it, over to Rice. Try to work it in closer. Rice through a double team, dishes it off at the last moment. Easy shot missed, and a whistle stops the action. Yeah, great driving pass there by Corey Rice. Andrew Work with 28 officially. Bryce Radford with 26 points for WVU Tech. And to the line is Jalen Collins. 12 for him, two of two foul shooting. 6'6 and a senior for the Battlers. Got it? So we've had one point scored in overtime. Collins gets them both. 92-90. Here we go. By the way, that last foul was on DeAndre King, and he's got four fouls oh boy. for Tech. Lob pass underneath. Parker goes to the floor, and they're going to call him for traveling. I thought he put a dribble down, so I didn't know what. Yeah, maybe we'll see it on run. replay. Yeah. Little Look. General, we thank them for sponsoring our instant replay, and here they come. Yeah, it looked like he got a dribble there, but the close call. Could have gone either way. Yep. These refs have done a great job. They have. Watch out. Spin move again. Rice is there. Missed it. Oh, my. Tech on the attack. Down by two. 3.25 left in OT. To the corner from three. Keller. That's King. That's his fourth long ball. Great pass by Andrew, Andrew Work to Kandre, the sharpshooter king. 
Ball's going to go to WVU Tech. And a Get spotted up like that, you can count it. And what a big shot in a big moment. Wow, you got that right. He said two long balls in each half. Ashton Parker, he's at three field goals and two or four foul shooting. And there he goes. His last three have been successful. And the lead is two for the homestanding Golden Bears. Parker again. Good again. Big shots. Yes. Still one possession game. Here's Rice. King. Rice has been held pretty much in check. Watch out for him. In close. Here's King. Double team. And that's a held ball. What a play, coach. Great help down. Tremendous job. Great team defense. Big couldn't ask for it at a bigger moment either. And the possession arrow pointed toward Beckley. So WVU Tech with a three-point lead and the ball. Still plenty of time, 2.38 on a turning overtime clock. These kids have got to be tired. Oh, Martin yeah. Martin sees room, and it's blocked. It's set into the parking lot by King. Nice help over by Kings. Scott up there real high and got that block. Mm. Big play. Yes. We got a King playing for each side. Keandre. 6-4 for Tech, inbounds the ball. And both Tomorrow. putting up big plays. Yes. Here's Martin. He can do it too to Radford. Radford shoots at the buzzer. Oh. Just almost made a 30-footer. To the floor they go. Oh, that looked like Those travel. are going hard. Pushing off. Yeah. That's a charge, that and that's call. the excellent call. Yeah. Jalen Collins now with his fifth foul, so that's a big Collins foul. is out. 14 big. total points, and he has left the game. Wow. 204 left. That's a big, big loss for Alderson Bryce. AB will. Play defense in the center circle. Rice Radford working the point to work. Really have two point guards in there. Work again, leans in, took it in the face. Somehow the battlers get the ball down the floor. They go. Simpkins passes it off and the whistle stops the oh, action. No. I think we had a technical foul on the uh, WVU Tech bench. Ouch. And it yeah, comes at it, a bad time. Yeah, yeah, not, not a good thing to happen right now. 142 left. We're in overtime. Tech by three. And now it's foul shooting. You know, and it's so hard not to react in that yeah. situation, though. I mean, it, it, you know, the, we don't know what was said, but it's an emotional time, and you would, uh, you'd hope that uh, there's a little forgiveness on that because it does affect the game, but. Zach Simpkins, he's made three straight free throws and seven out of nine tonight. Gets them both at crunch time. Now we got a one-point lead for wow. the Golden Bears. And A.B. will get the ball out of bounds. 142 left, still plenty of time. We're in overtime. 41 all at intermission, 90 all at the end of regulation. And we're... Moving toward the century mark. Defense, defense, King. Defense, defense, defense. Long shot, and watch out, wow. there's Rice. I told you he was due. Wow. That's Great 10 points. Nice. It is. And that gives the lead to AB Back with 417 left. Back and forth they go. Tech with the ball down by two. You say double OT? I don't know. 
Here's work. Radford from downtown. Yes. yes. What a shot. What My a heavens. shot. That's unbelievable. That's just unbelievable. Layup on the other end, a whistle first. 52 seconds left and Tech by one. What a big shot there by Bryce Radford. And then you see Aldous and Bradis come right back, right back with the action. Right, Corey Rice puts the ball down, does exactly what he's supposed to do, gets it up the floor. Look at that shot. Wow. Second foul on Radford. And Rice to the line where he's two for two tonight. Got it. We're tied at 98. Hmm. First one to 100 wins. <laughs> Rice again. The junior six-footer. Yep. Big and play by Corian Rice back to back. Gee. 99-98 AB. Here's work. You want him to have the ball. Radford. Rice is on him. The two Beckley guys. Radford spins it up a little too hard off the glass. Oh. And AB's got the ball with 25 seconds left in a one point game. And they've got an got easy run layup. out. Walker yeah. scores for the first time tonight. Talik Walker, the 6 3 junior starting forward, puts them up by three with 21 seconds left. And Tech will have the ball. Well, there was a scramble for the loose ball and just kind of lost track of everyone because everyone's going so hard for that ball and got the run out. At a bad time. Okay. Aldous and Broadus got to 100 first. We'll see if it holds. Wow. I tell you, just two big back-to-back -back plays by Corian Rice hitting the three, and then after the big Bryce Radford three, getting the ball, getting it back up the floor, and getting to the line. I tell you, just, again, if you're looking for heroes in life, there's a lot of them out here on this court tonight, that's for sure. You said it. And I will tell you, because... We're going to have to do some business here in our wrap-up show, but Brian Helton, it's been just a lot of fun working with you tonight. Likewise. And we got some bonus time, didn't we? Amen. <laughs> and uh, it's good to be here with the legend, that's for sure. Well, the legend is Dave Barksdale. Well, that is. And that Bob is. Bolin and yeah. a whole bunch of other people, but I thank you for the compliment. Well, those are, along with yourself, people that have made basketball relevant. And, and a big part of our culture here in Beckley, part of the state. So City of champions, no off. doubt about it. Absolutely. All right, let's see what Coach George Wilmore has drawn up. And he's going to have Grant Smithers to trigger it in. He's got Radford number 30, work number one. He's got King under the basket. And a timeout again with 17 seconds left. At a three-point deficit, the Tech needs to make up so we can get a second overtime. Meantime, Corian Rice is coming over and talking to the referee. I'm not sure what that was about. Maybe how many timeouts they have? Could be. Could be. Yeah, Coach Wilmore here is going to get the timeout in X and O now, and I'm sure he's got a set in mind. And, you know, we know two guys in white that probably be good to get the ball in their hands. Bryce Redford and Andrew Work. Redford and Work both are approaching 30-point nights. So right. obviously they're cooking. King is at four long balls, so he's in double figures. Smithers also is in double figures. And Ashton Parker is in double figures. So all five Golden Bear starters have hit double digits tonight. Hill has come off the bench to play well, and Darren Martin has also done well off the bench. So WVU Tech, they've got a lot of people that they can uh, give gold stars to. You, you got that right. A lot of depth there. And then they get Haley back, and you're going to see a powerhouse team. And like we said earlier, no surprise why they're the preseason number one ranked team in their conference. Absolutely. Okay. Let's see. The <laughs> great coaching and great players we've been a part of tonight, huh? Absolutely. AB, their players had already come out and they were close to the Golden Bear bench saying, we're ready to play, come on. Inbounds play. Here is King. He's got work at the head of the lane and he gets it to him, 17 seconds. In overtime, Smithers to King, there you go. to work, 
There you go. To the corner, Radford. Short. And Work gets the rebound somehow, and he's fouled with four seconds left. What do you do now, Coach? Well, that's always the universal question, uh, and we'll see what Coach Wilmore decides to do. I mean, he needs to make he needs to make two of them, or, or one of them for sure, and then he can. Yeah, that's going to be a coaching decision. Yep. Okay. Needs to make this first one. Work has been up there a bunch tonight, and he hits another one. He has been exceptional, missing only two tonight out of five, ten, and fifteen. Well, I'm sure that's why Coach Wilmore and his staff are going to talk about right now, take that time out and sort of make the decision here of how you want to handle this. It's, it's, uh, you never like to be down two with four seconds left and only one free throw, but I'm sure those guys will come up with the right strategy. 101-99 overtime. Tech down by two and a chance to come up with a miracle at the line. We'll see what happens. And I believe they're out of timeouts. Ah. Okay. Whew. It's a tough, tough spot. Yeah. You just tuned in. You missed our first broadcast. The WVU Tech women defeated Voorhees University 105-70. to The Tech ladies took control at the end of the first quarter. They played quarters in the women's game. And then Tech never looked back. And in fact, at one time had a 40 point advantage. And they will play tomorrow here at three o'clock against Bluefield. And we will have that game for you on video productions. Three o'clock tomorrow, WVU Tech women. Right now, it's the men. They need something major to happen. Down by two with four seconds left. And Andrew Work to the line. Probably will miss this on purpose. Hope for a rebound. They've got Chop in 6'10. And he oh, makes wait. it anyway. He tried to miss it and made it. And there's the foul. Good quick foul. Oh good. my gosh. Yeah. That's when you're so good. I mean, he he shot a line drive just over the front of the hoop. And you saw it there, it went in. Still went in, yeah. And uh, Bryce Radford, very heady play though. The the good thing is less than half a second went off the clock before Bryce was able, able to get over and commit the foul. 101 to 100, 3.6 ticks left, so this is not done yet. And Simpkins to the line. He's made his last four foul shots. Now five in a row. Yeah, if you're WVU Tech, that's not really who you want on the line, but they really didn't have a choice but to make that quick foul. This will be his 12th free throwing opportunity, opportunity, and he's only missed twice. He's their leading scorer tonight, Simpkins, 6'4", and a senior for... Alderson brought us. Well, I am wiped out, and I've not played a second. <laughs> 102 to 100. Simpkins. Still time for Tech. There it is. Tech needs a One trash. Possession. One possession game. Yep. There's the last time out. Okay. The last time out, 103-100. Alderson brought us with the lead. The Battlers under Stephen Dye have come to town, and they have come to play. That's an old broadcasting cliche and an old coaching cliche. And uh, on the screen right now, that score is not correct. It's 103 to 100. We'll ask Nick to add another point. There we go. We I'm didn't sure. want to make it any closer than it is. Yeah. Well, you know, the uh, good opportunity here, bringing it up to court, WVU Tech has lots of shooters. We've seen, we know Keandre King's a sharp shooter, obviously Bryce Radford, uh, Andrew Work sh shot the ball very well tonight. So a lot of good options for them coming up the floor of guys that can catch it and shoot it. So one possession game, I would not count these guys out with the way they've been shooting that ball tonight. Radford has hit seven long balls tonight. Wow. Smithers is at two. King is at four. Now, Work has not. So He's got a bunch of points, but they're all two-pointers and a bunch of foul shots. So there's 13, uh, 13 three-pointers tonight by WVU Tech. And so I'm sure they're hoping right now they can make it 14. And I'll bet you the battlers will just try to, to foul. Well, right, let's, yeah. let's let the game unfold. Here we go. Inbounds play. King. To work. To the corner. It is. At the buzzer. 
He is knocked to the floor. Bryce Radford missed the shot, and there is no foul called. And that is the end of the ball game. In overtime, Alderson brought us 103. WVU Tech 100. What a game. What a game. We saw there the good drive, the good pass. Real tough shot by Bryce. Just came up a little short. But, again, there's no one else I think that uh, either team would rather have taken that shot. Great game both ways. We'll have the stats after our final commercial break. We'll be right back on Video Productions. Every year, the big banks raise their fees while reducing the services they provide. How do they get away with that? If you were to join Pioneer Community Bank, your money would stay right here, supporting a local business which results in lower fees and better customer service for you. Sounds like a plan. So you're not really stuck with the big banks and their policies. Keep your money where it belongs, right here with Pioneer Community Bank. Pioneer Community Bank with locations in Beckley, Jaeger, Sophia, Moore, and Welch. Member FDIC. Nachos, better with Pepsi. We all hear things that go bump in the night, but it shouldn't be our car engine making those scary noises. There are definitely things out there to be scared of. But making your new car purchase at Hometown Kia isn't one of those. Stop digging a grave for that old ride and test drive a new Kia today. Hometown Kia of Beckley wants to make your new car buying experience thrilling, but not so shocking it leaves cobwebs and dark corners in your wallet. So quit walking around like a zombie and start riding around in style in a new Kia from Hometown Kia of Beckley. Your first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. Tire Pros. Hassle-free. Guaranteed. We are still catching our breaths after that game. What a game. Alderson brought us. Wins the game in overtime over WVU Tech 103 to 100. We have the official stats, and I'm going to ask Brian Helton to give us a little insight into the team totals, and then I'll do the individuals. Amazing stats. So uh, we end up the night with WVU Tech 33 for 65 from the field overall. 13 for 30 from the three-point line. Very hot shooting tonight. And an amazing 21 of 26 from the free throw line. The battle of the rebounds tonight was a big factor in the game. WVU Tech having 22 rebounds. And I'll get to Alderson brought us in a minute. But just early on, they had 43 rebounds. So almost double rebound advantage. 16 assists on their 33 field goals for Tech. To Alderson brought us. 34 for 66 from the field, almost identical to what WVU Tech was from the field. 7 of 22 three-point line, amazing, sizzling hot, 28 for 30 from the free throw line. Again, 43 rebounds, 13 assists, and a very clean game. 10 turnovers for Tech tonight and only 11 for Alderson Brada. So amazing first game out of both teams. You got that right. Now listen to this, and that's why I love college games because they give you all of this information. Bench points, A.B. had 34 off the bench, Tech had nine. Mm. The score was tied 13 times. The lead changed 25 times. Wow. That's how close this game was, 25 lead changes. Amazing. The largest by Alderson brought us was seven in the first half, and Tech had an eight-point lead in the first half of play. Now let's give you the, the official individual scoring. 27 points tonight for Zach Simpkins, 27 tonight. He hit... 8 of 13 from the floor and 10 of 11 foul shooting, 27 for
for Simpkins. One of five in double figures. 12 points for Corey on Rice, and he came through with a couple of big plays at crunch time right in overtime. 12 for John King, 12 for Jalen Collins, and 12 for Kobe Tigney. So five in double figures plus, uh, well, check me, there's another one, 11 points for Frazier LaRock, eight points for Rye Gad before he fouled out, and Jacatus Mack had three points. Talik Walker had six. So that's the individual scoring for Alderson Broadus. For WVU Tech, all five starters were in double figures, led by Andrew Work, 30 points tonight. He hit 9 of 15 from the floor and 12 of 14 from the foul line. 30 points for Work. Bryce Radford had 29 points tonight, 10 of 20 from the floor, 7 of 16 from three-point land, and he was 2 of 2 foul shooting. 29 for Bryce Radford in his return to Beckley. 12 points tonight for Keandre King, 10 points for Ashton Parker, and 10 points for Brant Smithers. Six for Will Hill off the bench, and Darren Martin scored three. So there you go. The final score was 103 to 100 in overtime. A.B. defeats WVU Tech. But, you know, Brian, we've said this several times during the broadcast. This Tech team is fun. They're explosive. And you need to come out and support them because <laughs> there are going to be a lot of wins this year wow. for new coach George Wilmore. Yeah, and I'm sure Coach Wilmore is disappointed in this moment right now. But just so many positives to look back on. To play a first game that way, to have a preseason uh, first-team all-conference player out and to come out tonight and perform the way they did and shoot the basketball, not turn it over and execute. There's a lot of positives for this WVU Tech team. The same can be said for Coach Dad Alderson Broaddus. He gets out of here with the win, so I'm sure he feels great about that. But he also has tremendous things to look forward to his team this season. Well put. Brian Helton enjoyed working with you tonight. And, you uh, too. Thank you I would you say this me. is not going to be your first broadcast, that's for sure. <laughs> well, thanks for having me. Hey, you did great. And you'll be hearing from Bob Boland in future broadcasts, but I know Brian Helton will be heard as well. Terrific job. Nick Eskins. Did an outstanding job as our producer-director tonight. And again, I'm Bill O'Brien. Glad to have you aboard. And again, we'll repeat the final score in the men's game tonight. Alderson brought us 103, WVU Tech 100. Tomorrow, 3 o'clock is the airtime for the WVU Tech women's game. 3 o'clock against Bluefield tomorrow. It'll be here on Video Productions. So until tomorrow, we hope that you've enjoyed our broadcast tonight from the Dave Barksdale Court in Beckley under the dome.